Hello everybody, my name is GuppyPuppy3, and welcome to a game called Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. It's a game about Nathan Drake, legendary treasure hunter. There must be a beginning of any great matter. But the continuing unto the end, until it be thoroughly finished, yields the true glory. Sir Francis Drake, 1587. I am here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. <coughs> Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. <clears throat> For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. <clears throat> Oh, snap. What the hell? <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. The deal was for a coffin. <laughs> That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't have... you got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could you hold that thought? Pirates. Please be pirates. Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Haha. <laughs> pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just point and shoot, right? Good girl. Yeah, exactly. Like a point, like a camera. Here we go. How the hell they find us out here? Uh, these guys have been telling me for weeks. Thought I lost them. So what'd you do to piss them off? Uh, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> these guys don't like you much, do they? Less talking, more shooting. <laughs> Up, Sully. You're gonna be sorry now. They're climbing the board. Oh, no, you don't. Now you're gonna pay. You know, I actually kind of like that price. Oh my god, Drake! 
The boat's on fire. Oh, I don't think I'm getting my security deposit back. Yeah, no, I wouldn't think so either. Cavalry's here. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Damn it. Uh, I think it's time to leave. Both ships gonna blow. We gotta jump. Oh, wait. What are you doing? Okay. Come on. Go. All right. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Ah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't a beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. What do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. <laughs> you done goofed. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. Good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... So <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. If you don't trust someone, why did you get off the boat? Oh, hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. 
Uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> well, that was different. Although, I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> well, hang in there, old-timer. We're just about there. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> uh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was... Monkeys! Nate, are you even listening to me? No, I'm paying attention to the monkeys. every word. Uh, why waste my breath? You really think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. God damn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. Oh, man. This is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. Hello. <laughs> oh, no. This is more like it. What do you think this is, Incan? Nah, it's older than that. Like 2,000 years older. Huh. Hmm. Sprint? Nope. Find nope. Anything? Nothing yet. Mm. Be careful up there. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. It's hollow. We gotta find a way to smash through this. I see a rock. Oh. Nice. Nice. The flashlights for this one. Oh, oh, oh. Bats. I love bats. Booby traps. No? Okay. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. <laughs> what the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? 
I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. Those Spaniards sure left a lot of crap behind. Careful, Nate. That's quite a drop. Not yeah. Kidding. Barrel. We got to find a way across. Barrel. <laughs> That'll work. from the other side. All right, let go. This ought to hold it. Hurry, hurry, hurry Sully. Sully. That was a little too close. Yeah, you don't say. Hope this place has a back door, huh? You know, this looks familiar. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. Yeah, here it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, after all your bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? I mean, always having a lighter comes in handy. Figure a way to clear this debris. No. Ah, did that do it? Oh, nice. it did do it. Now what? Now my spidey sense is telling me to climb. I might have been able to do that 30 years ago. <laughs> Barrels. Okay. Recognize these symbols. The order hey, nice. of these signs has some importance. Well, one, two, three, four. Oh, how do I get up there? Nice. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Use 
you are not the one I want to do first. It's that one. That's good. All right, number two is what looks like a man with a sword. Maybe a staff. That's not this one. No, that's a spider looking thing. Spire looking thing. All right. Nice. Leap of faith. Leap of, uh, a ladder. Pretty deep. Yeah, looks like there's a ladder cut into the side. Wait here while I check it out. All right, just be careful. Hey, watch your step down there. Whoa! Ah. Yeah, I guess I push this. Nice. Okay, getting somewhere. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna swim in that. I've been in worse. Okay. Uh -huh. Barrels. I made it. I'm on the other side. Can you get this open? Yes. Nice one. I've got this one. Nice. This looks safe. Yeah, totally safe. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot? Ah, 
Now it looks like we're getting somewhere. That's probably the booby traps I was thinking be. of. Must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. A gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here. These people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado. The Golden Man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here. Tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. Made it. Nice. Huh. They stop here. Yeah, it looks like the back wall of the temple was blown out. Yeah. The Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Well, now what? Oh, shiny. Nice. Wait, Sully, do you hear that? There's something you don't see every day. Hello. Oh God. I'll be damned. Must have come up the river during flood season and gotten stuck. Let's check it out, huh? No, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky? You act like you've never seen a German U-boat in the middle of the jungle before. No, uh, I'm being serious, Nate. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will you? Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. All right, well, I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Uh, I put out new videos at least twice a week. And I will see you guys in the next video whenever I explore this ginormous German U-boat. Thank you, and have a good day. Do your homework.